Please continue to hold for the next available agent. Thank you for calling online support. You're speaking to Tom. How can I help you? Yes, Tom, do you know anything about the Zeus virus? Yes. Okay, because I got what a happened? I got a pop up on my screen and it says Zeus virus detected. Your computer has been blocked. And then it says please call Zeus, computer system. Zeus is a kind of virus. Let me tell you. Zeus is a kind of virus which basically attacks your computer if you do frequently, you know, like online shopping, check your bank accounts or you've been on to your emails. Yeah, I do all that on if this. You have any of <laughs> That's how you got the problems in there, right? That's the only reason you got Zeus attack and Zeus is a kind of virus which is active on the worldwide internet from past 78 hour. And it's not only you, mate, who is having this kind of trouble. There are many people who are having the same issue. Oh, really? So what kind of, I mean, can I just like get like a vast or something like that and get rid of it? No, a vast is something which will not take care of this virus because this is not exactly a virus. It's a kind of Zebot Trojan. And I don't Trojan understand what any of that means. <laughs> Let me tell you, Matt, like, if we talk about infections, right, uh -huh. except viruses, there are many other kind of infections. And there are many things which your antivirus cannot take care of because antivirus is strictly made, you know. The programming is being in that way that it can only detect viruses. But something, if, if something is not a virus, it cannot be detected by your antivirus. So this yeah. isn't a virus. I mean, I mean, it looks like a virus, but it's not something that a regular virus thing can get rid of. Exactly. Wow. Well. Okay. If you want, I can go ahead and you know take care of it. You know, by checking your computer once at how the heck they got in there. Well, how can you because how can you check my computer? I mean, would you send somebody here? Or? No, I will be getting connected to your computer. Oh, okay. Virtually. Okay. But I need your help in that, you know, I need some sort of co cooperation and patience from your side. Yeah, I need and my computer back, so whatever you need. <laughs> I got you. All right, so I want you to have a look onto the keyboard, mate. Okay. On the keyboard, on the very bottom left-hand side, there is a key which looks like a Windows button uh -huh. with four white little boxes on it. Uh-huh. Do you see that? Yeah, I see it. I want you to press and hold it down. Just hold it down? And well, Yes, and while holding it down, press letter R. R like Roger at the same time. Okay, I brought up a box that says run, type the name yes. of the program. Let go the buttons. Let go the buttons. Okay. And type in there two H's, like H H. Okay. Give a space. Okay. And type one more H. H H and then space and then H. Yes. And then push OK. Oh, okay. It brings up this HTML help box up in the corner. Yes. I want you to maximize it, make it big, enlarge it. Okay. And it says and the program cannot display the web page. Perfect. Now, I want you to have a look on the upper left-hand side. On the top left-hand side, there's a small yellow color cushion mark with a white paper. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, okay. It is small. I want you to cl click that. Okay. Do you see something which says, jump to URL, the second last option? Yeah, I see it. Click on that, please. All right. It says... Jump to URL. It and brings up a box. Yes. Yeah. The cursor is flashing under jump to this URL. Yes. I want you to type in there join. J O I N join. Okay. Dot. Okay. Z O H O. Zoho. Okay. Dot com. Okay. And opera.com, you need to put a forward slash, put a forward slash. Is that the one on the question mark or the one above the enter key? Yes, the one under the question mark. Okay, I got it. And after the forward slash, you have to type in there a key, and let me tell you the key, right? Okay. 
Hold on. Let me generate that. Can you help me with your first name, please? Yes, it's Jeff. Jeff. All right, Jeff. Hold on for a moment. Let me generate the key for you. Okay. So how's your day so far, Jeff? How's it going? It was going okay until this happened. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. All right, the key is eight seven two. Okay. One five six. One five six. Okay. One four seven. One four seven. All right, so eight seven two. One five six, one four seven. Perfect. I want you to push OK now. Okay. It's all right. So little thing spinning. All right. It's working on it. Yeah. It says joining report remote support session. There's a download button. Hit. Hit download. So there's an error has occurred and on the screen. When you hit download, exactly. Click yes. Okay. And then click download one more time. Okay, so do you want to save this file? Do you have any run option there? Do you see any run option? No, it just says save and cancel. Click save. Then you will see the run option. Okay. Yeah, it says run, open folder, or close. So they get you run. Okay. It says run or don't run. I assume you want run. Hit run again. Okay. Yes or no. Do you want to allow the program to make changes to this computer? Yes. Hit yes. Okay. It says in initializing remote session. Initializing some sort of. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. That will take its own time, and it will show you an option of continue on the bottom right hand side. You need to click continue. Okay. Alrighty, we are connected now. Oh, is that you? Oh, so you got control now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright, Jeff, just hold on for a moment. Let me pull up a notepad. If I want you to help me with your complete name, your first name, middle initial, and your last name. First name is Jeff, J-E-F-F. -F. Middle initial is L. And last name is Albertson, A-L-B-E-R-T-S-O-N. Right. And Jeff, what would be the best callback number in case we got disconnected? It would be 646. Eight zero nine nine six eight seven. Perfect. All right, let me copy that information. And this is the first time when you're calling in Windows Help Desk, right? Yes. How old is this computer? A couple of years old. I got it at a flea market. I mean, I get I got it at a flea market okay. a couple of years ago. I don't know how old it was before then, so. <laughs> All right. And for what kind of purpose this computer is being used for? I just use it at home for email and Facebook and all that other stuff. And who else uses this computer except you? Well, my roommate gets on it every once in a while, but not too often. All right. The computer is registered under the name of Frank. Yes, that's my roommate's name. He set it up for me when I got it. All right. And except this computer, how many other devices are hooked up to your network? To the network? You mean like our Wi-Fi? Yes. Well, I have my PlayStation, and I have a Nintendo DS that gets on it sometimes, and then uh, my roommate has an old PlayStation 3 that he uses on it. Alright. Oh, and I think he, he has a laptop too. And he has an iPad too, so he likes to brag about his iPad, so. Understand.
Is that you doing all the typing, or is that the virus? No, it's me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's what doing. I'm trying to pull up something, but that's not coming up. Yeah, it does look, I mean, it looks like it's... Oh. The computer is being really slow. I appreciate your patience if you are using this computer, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like I said, I got a flea market. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but I can't afford anything better at the moment. Uh, You've been working with computers for a long time? What's that? Have you been working with computers for a long time? Yeah. It's been approximately six years. It's something that my parents always wanted me to do, but I was never really interested in it too much. <laughs> So what you do now? Right now I'm just a, a waiter. All right. I don't know if you've ever heard of O Charlie's, but that's where I work. Mate, right now your call has been landed to India, New Delhi. So. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> well, I don't. I guess there's no O Charlie's over there. I guess. <laughs> I never heard. <laughs> I never heard of that, man. Yeah. It's a New Delhi, India? Because you, you, you sounded computer, almost right Australian. <laughs> Was that? You sound almost Australian. You keep saying mate, which I usually associate with people from Australia, but you say you're in India? <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, I'm working with these kind of things from about six years, so I got an accent like that. Oh, uh, okay. And <laughs> <laughs> so what do you see onto the screen right now? It says Windows Task Manager, and there's a tab open that says Applications. What do you see in there? Says alert. I want you to click on the first one. Or I want you to click on the first one. Google Chrome. Yes, the alert thing. Okay, I can't even see my. All right, all right, there we go. All right, I clicked on it. And click on end task. Underneath, you will see an option of end task. I want you to click on that. Okay. And what came up? So it's not doing it. I mean, I clicked on Google Chrome and Google Chrome's highlighted, but when I click on end task, nothing's happening. Hmm. Could this be the virus that's causing all this problem? Exactly. This virus is a kind of problem, you know, which basically attacks your computer history and eats out your roots, you know, like a tree. Uh -huh. It eats out the roots. And it left the, your computer left with nothing if it's been a long time after a Zeus attack. You will end up losing your ID, passwords, your emails, everything, whatever you have done so far. You mean I won't be able to get back onto my email? You or the emails I have the will email, just be gone. You know, ID and the password. Oh, okay. They might change the password. If they change the password, you won't be able to log in there. But if they haven't changed the password, you maybe can try to log in. The computer freezes up.
that's a problem. I just can't do anything. So maybe I should take it to Best Buy or something, see if they can do something with it. What's that? Maybe I should take it to Best Buy or someplace like that and see if they can do something with it. No. The problem is if you if you take this computer to anywhere, right, you have to disconnect it from the network. And once you disconnect it from the network, you won't be having no problems because the problems are coming through the internet. And that's the kind of thing here. You have to get it fixed while connected to the internet. Okay. Looks like it's trying to wake up, but I still don't have any real control over it. Let's see. It will take some time. Sorry, this is taking up so much of your time. I'm sure you got other customers. What's that? I said, I'm sorry this is taking up so much of your time. I'm sure you have better things to be doing. No, it's okay. This is our job, you know. So, we have to be patient. We have to keep that, you know, kind of patience level. Where we see these kind of things every day. This is not the slowest computer which I have seen so far. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen slower than this as well. So do you, I mean, do you get pretty much one call right after the other, or do you have like a long break in between calls, or? No, we probably get, you know, calls after, in in like 10 minutes, we got a call. Yeah. So, because if these things are happening, sometimes there is, day passes on, we, we don't got any calls, we never get any calls from the customer, but sometimes when these things are on its boom, on the worldwide internet, then it's a busy day for us. Yeah. Because people, because you know, like if these things are, it's not only you with whom these things are happening. If if this is happening with you, this is happening with many other people as well. So you're not the only one. Well, that makes me feel a little better. <laughs> it's approximately right now. It's approximately 600 executives working under the same roof, and out of 600, I believe 400 are on call. Oh my god. It's a busy day. It seems to be like your Windows activation key is being damaged. That's why the computer is being so slow. The activation key. I mean, it's ran slow before, but never this slow. Was that? It's ran slow before, but never this slow. I mean, if, if, if a kind of Zeus virus attacking your computer, there will be some things which will change. The computer will not perform, you know, as it used to. It will go slow. And there are chances that if you turn off this computer, it won't even turn back on. Uh -oh. Maybe what I can suggest to you, you know, according to the condition of your computer, what I can suggest to you is you should go ahead and, you know, talk to one of our technicians that are for level 5 engineers, and they will install a kind of network security over this computer and you need to get the problem resolved and they will charge you a one-time fees that would be somewhere around a ninety-nine dollar and that's once for a lifetime Did you say a level, a level five what? This is a set of technicians right a level five technicians like the supervisors uh -huh. they go ahead and take over this case they will assign a technician on this particular computer who will spend approximately an hour on this computer and will take off all the infections doesn't matter what they are and will put a permanent ban on them by installing a security which is being manufactured by Windows and according to your problems there will be a customized codings which will be made on the computer and the network so that 
you will not have any of these problems again in future and they will charge you a one-time fee that would be a $99 charge so do they work for Microsoft or are they just in, or they just sell stuff from Microsoft no, Microsoft provides support business to business okay uh -huh. and Windows Help Desk is something which provides support business to individuals so there's no way that you can reach Microsoft because they never talk to the individual okay the bottom line where you can reach that is Windows Help Desk and that's where you're talking right now okay and that's nine dollars that's a fixed charge and that's a one-time charge like if you go with some sort of antivirus you have to pay that kind of money year after year like 49 59 whatever the amount is right you have to pay that year after year for the renewal but here if you deal with the windows help desk you just have to pay that money once and whenever you have any trouble you have the toll free number call that number and get assistance so okay. I only have to pay it once and it's good for for how, for one year more than one forever. year until you have this computer forever so, mate until you have this computer okay well, that's good. Because there's no point to do anything onto the computer. It's not allowing us to do anything, right? Right. It's stuck. That's the only way, <laughs> I believe, <laughs> which you can go and opt. Well, how you can tell me I mean, how can the level you know, like I mean, how can I get control? I mean, if the level if you can't do anything with it, if it's just completely locked up, and you said if I turn it off and turn it, if I turn it off, it's not even going to come back on. Right. So what can the level and five I'm people a, do? I'm a customer care. I'm a customer care executive, right? Right. And those people have got the paid tools. If you're paying for something, they have paid for the tools, right? Right. And they're going to use that paid tool to work on your computer. Okay. And free things never work, right? Right. And so far, we're working with free things. So <laughs> right. Once. The paid things start their work. You don't have to worry about anything. So they have know? something that'll unlock the get the computer working and will be good to go. Exactly. It will unlock your the, it will unlock the computer, will remove the infections, they will run some scans, make the codings, decodings and whatever needs to be done. You know? Okay. They will do it. Their job is to fix your problem. Right. No matter what. That's what they're getting paid for. Right. So you pay them the money and it's not your problem then it's their problem how they fix it and they will do it that's what they're trained for and you said it takes them about it's an hour or so you tell to me do it. approximately they will take like a minimum time taken that would be 40 minutes the maximum would somewhere around 60 to 70 minutes so you don't have to be on the call you can just hang up the phone once you're done with the accounts department you hang up the phone, once the work is done, they will give you a call back themselves that, hey, your computer is being fixed, work is being done. Now you can use your computer. Okay. And then you can use your computer. So how do I get in contact with them? I just need to get you connected with them. Okay. I will just have to transfer your call. Okay. All right. Before I transfer your call, mate, can you help me with a few of your basic details, like your email? Can you help me with your email? Yeah, it's Jeff. Physical address, building address. 129 West 81st Street. West 84? 81st. 81. 81st Street. Apartment 11A. Just give me a second. Okay. 11A. 11A. It's in New York, New York. You need the zip code? The zip code? 10024. Right, just hold on for a moment, right? Okay. All right, so just before I go ahead and transfer your call, I would like to inform you one thing here, that the mode of payment would be a check. So
So, till the time I transfer your call, I want you to go and grab your checkbook. Okay. All right. They can't use credit cards. And I'm putting your call on hold. Okay. Check is the most safe and secure mode of payment, right? Okay. And all the legit companies basically use check as a mode of payment it's because it's been verified by you and your bank both. Okay. So. All right, so till the time I'm connecting to them, you can go ahead and grab your checkbook, and the next voice which you're going to hear will be from an executive from the accounts department. Okay, I'll right. go get my checkbook right now. All right. All right, so at this point I've disconnected the call. I'm going to leave him connected to my sh machine for a little bit. Email address I gave him is obviously not going to work. It's for an old domain that I used to have a million years ago that's since expired. That email address I gave him is not going to work. Um, I'm just going to see if he can do anything. I actually didn't have this plan. I didn't have the plan for the uh, machine to be at 100% CPU usage. I don't know how that happened because I was using it just fine. So I guess maybe the Zeus virus is eating up all my resources. The callback number that he has for me is actually for an IRS scam line. So if he tries to call me back, he'll be getting um, We'll be getting the IRS. Maybe I can explain to them what's going on. The address I gave him is actually um, it's the Jerry Seinfeld's building from the TV show, but it's actually two floors up, which uh, doesn't exist. There is no apartment 11. There's no 11th floor at that address, so um, there's no innocent third parties involved. He doesn't have a real physical address. He doesn't have a real phone number, and the phone number is for. Um, the non-existent address. Just curious to see how long he'll actually stay connected to this machine since it's completely locked up. So just while we're waiting here, I got this tech support pop-up by going to um, ficebook.com, F-I-C-E-B-O-O-K.com. And I've been finding out some interesting things about those because when I get these messages, I've been reporting them to their domain registrants, but then whenever the domain registrants write me back, they say that whenever they go to those websites, it just redirects them to YouTube or Google or something like that, so they're not taking actions against the websites. So I think that there's something in the way, there's some sort of man in the middle thing going on there where they, um, where the pop-up site is looking at the refer, and if it doesn't have the right refer, then it's just redirecting you someplace else. So I'm going to have to do some investigating in that, see if I can find the actual chain that causes these things to pop up so I can get them reported properly. I'm going to give him a couple more minutes, and if he doesn't manage to achieve anything, I'm going to shut him down. Curious why they go through the help thing, the hh.h, why they go through the help thing to connect instead of just using regular Windows stuff. Instead of just having the customer bring up Chrome or something. So yeah, it's been about 32 minutes and I don't feel like eating up any more of my hard drive, drive space with this video. So I'm going to go ahead and stop recording and cut him off. Um, if you've watched this far, thanks. And please hit a thumbs up or a thumbs down or subscribe or something. Let me know how you feel about this video.